Hi all, I've got a couple of videos online where I give you the option of staying in an apartment here in Bangkok, Thailand, even for a longer term stay, two or three months. You can quite easily move into an apartment, even an unfurnished apartment, and live quite easily. I've got 16 items here I'm going to run through that I think will come in very handy. The first nine items are pretty much must-have things that you need. Then there's a few bonus items, so I'm just going to run through the items. And the first item is one of these mattresses. Very common and popular here in Thailand are these mattresses just like that. You can see how they fold up into a very compact um, package. And these are very surprisingly comfortable. You can quite easily sleep on that on the ground. And that costs a bit over a thousand baht from a Big C or Tesco Lotus. It may, it may sound expensive, but as a one-off purchase, it's not that expensive. Very useful item and very surprisingly comfortable. And here's a cheaper option here. This one costs only 300 baht, but it's much cheaper foam, not so comfortable or not as comfortable. 300 baht, this one's a bit over a thousand baht. It's three feet wide. I'm sure a couple can sleep there quite easily and you can quite easily move into an unfurnished apartment and sleep on a floor just like that. On this thing, it's surprisingly comfortable. If you have a furnishing and a bed, that's the one thing you may not need, so a mattress. The second item is a pillow, nice comfortable pillow. You can obviously for sleeping. It's also good to sit down in conjunction with your mattress if you've got no seats for furnishings. With a pillow case, you can wash out quite easily. Even a second pillow gives a bit more comfort. You can have that as a backrest up against the wall. You can sit down quite comfortably. This um, case comes off and you can wash that as well. So a couple of comfy pillows is what you need in conjunction with your mattress. The third item is a plain old sleeping bag. Very handy if it's cooler in the cool season in Thailand. It can get a bit cool, especially in the northern areas and so forth, even in Bangkok. Sleeping bag for a bit of warmth. This one's unzipped to be used as a blanket. I just believe a sleeping bag is a very handy item to be used in conjunction with your sleep system. The fourth item is a fan. If you don't have an air conditioner in your apartment or wherever you're staying, a fan's pretty much a must-have item. Thailand's a hot country, of course. Even if you have an air conditioner, a fan's still a good option to save money, save power. You may not want your air conditioner going 24-7, so a fan, um, again, very reasonable price, a very good option to have. Number five is going to be toilet paper or tissue paper, obviously for the bathroom. Number six is going to be laundry powder. You've got coin operator washing machine, so your laundry's done. Number seven is going to be these sorts of brushes to clean out your toilet, your um, tiles in the bathroom and so forth. Even after a couple of months, you know what bathrooms get like. You can just do a bit of scrubbing when you have a shower. And number eight is going to be just a small brush and a scoop to sweep out the place. Number nine, you can quite easily buy these towels, obviously for the bathroom, and smaller hand towels for your kitchen, cooking and so forth. Number ten are these power boards, extension leads. You can get away from the wall plug. You can plug in your mobile phone chargers and so forth. I've got my camera charger here. And I've got two here over in my kitchen area here. I've got one wall plug where I've got one plugged in. I've got the power board coming over here. I can plug in my rice cooker, toaster, hot water kettle, and electric cooker, just like that. So power boards, extension leads are very handy. Number 11, these mosquito bats are very handy. Just to zap mosquitoes that might come inside, they're rechargeable, so mosquito bat. Number 12, these good quality sealable containers are very handy. And I mean good quality ones that have a good seal. You can close down and seal away any perishable foods or open foods you might have in there. Especially if you have an ant problem. At the last place I had ants coming in. Even if you have a fridge, these containers might come in handy to lock away your food. And the last four items are really just bonus items. Number 13 here are these storage boxes. can come in very handy just to store things and to move as well. You can buy larger ones, but I don't recommend larger ones because they're too awkward to carry and so forth. The storage boxes, they make makeshift tables as well. If you have to move, you can throw those in a taxi as well. Number 14 could be just some plain odd cordage, just like that. You can string up a clothesline in my apartment. I can hang up my clothes towels and so forth. If I do washing, it's raining outside, I can hang up my clothes nice and safe in the house. So a bit of cordage for a clothesline, just as an option. And 15 could be a few coat hangers. You can hang up stuff. You can see how outside my apartment here, I've got a railing out there where I can hang up clothes and I can save room by using the coat hanger. So um, coat hangers might be very um, handy. And the last item is one thing I don't have here, I haven't got around to buying it, is ice buckets. You can buy small size ice buckets to larger size, and you can quite easily buy bags of ice from 7-Elevens. 7-Elevens are all over the place. If you don't have a fridge, 
ice bucket with ice you can come in handy store your drinks perishable foods and so forth so that, that might be a very handy option especially if you don't have a fridge so there's 16 very useful items you can make a shopping list go shopping one time buy all those things very reasonable prices here in thailand you can live in the apartment in thailand even an unfurnished apartment um, most of those things will come in handy even if you have a furnished apartment except for the mattress perhaps so any questions or comments let me know thanks for watching take care and i'll see you next time